Okay, so Andres tried to do his projectile motion problem, and I'm going to try to do a Newton's second law and a friction problem. So the problem asks, what's the maximum acceleration this board or surface can have before the mass slips, given this coefficient of static friction between the board and the mass? So there's our question again. What's the maximum horizontal acceleration before the block slides? So we actually start in the vertical direction. There are two vertical forces. The weight pulls down. That's mass times the acceleration due to gravity. So one kilo weighs about 10 newtons. And the normal pushes up from the surface. Normal just means perpendicular. So the sum of the forces in the y direction are zero because it's not accelerating in the y direction. If a equals zero, then the net force has to equal zero. So we just have two vertical forces. Weight pulls down. That's the negative sign from weight. Normal pushes up. Negative mg plus the normal force equals zero. And all you do is add the weight to both sides. So the normal force is the weight. It's just opposite in direction. That's all. Then we move to the horizontal direction. And the acceleration is to the left, and therefore the friction force is to the left. The coefficient of friction is the friction force divided by the normal force. And if you're interested in the friction force, you just multiply both sides by the normal, and you get the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force, that is sort of the uh, grinding force between the two surfaces, equals the friction force. Why is that important? Well, now we're going to do F equals MA in the horizontal direction. So the friction force is the only horizontal force. So we expand that to be the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force equals the mass multiplied by the horizontal acceleration, and the normal force from the vertical direction is mass times acceleration due to gravity. So the left-hand side becomes mu mg, that is the coefficient of friction, multiplied by the mass in kilos, multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared, equals the mass on the surface, the block, multiplied by the horizontal acceleration. And how about this? Mass is on the left-hand side, mass is on the right-hand side. That means you can divide both sides by the mass, and that means the maximum acceleration of this surface has nothing to do with the mass that's sitting on it. Kind of interesting. The maximum acceleration is simply the coefficient of friction multiplied by 10 meters per second squared, roughly. So if mu is 0.5, then you can accelerate with half a g of acceleration, 5 meters per second squared. 